Well, hello there, Grant Prep Academy. How are you? So excited to be here with you. Inviting you to come join us live if you're not you. So excited to be here with you. Inviting you to come join us live if you're not in here to talk to, to teach all about grants. Let's do it. Good morning. This is Grant Prep Academy or GPA. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, winner of over $63,550 in grants and grant funded opportunities, creator of this here page. So make sure you follow this page and turn your notifications on for when we go live. You can get notified. Yay! Also over at blackwomeningrants.com, we have a year-long mentorship program for those of you who are wanting mentorship around grants, finding them, how to apply for them, what to say on the applications, and more. So I'm happy to share more about that with you guys during our time together. Come on in. So real quick, if you're live here with us, just put a one in the chat if you are a black woman, for-profit, small business owner. Let me know. There we go. I see you, girl. Tequila. No, I ain't saying that right at all. I see you. Okay. Thank you, girl. <laughs> Any other black women, for-profit, small business owners? Let me add a little bit. Put a two... If you're a black woman, for-profit, small business owner seeking grants for your black woman-owned, for-profit, small business. Let's talk about that. I see you. Okay. So we got a few. So welcome. So at any time, if you guys have questions, you can just throw them in the chat and we'll talk about it. So and real quick, I just want to break down kind of what to look for um, when it comes to grants anyone here doing a grant search already like you're out there looking for the funding like you've already found one you might be interested in or you've already started the search let me know because what to look for in grants um, you need to find grants that fit where you are in your business so if you're a startup um, business Meaning you really haven't gotten started fully. Maybe you haven't made money yet. You're what we call pre-revenue. Um, then you need to be looking for what's known as startup grants. Have y'all heard of that? If your business is already started, you need to be looking for what's known as a growth grant. Which of those two do you think you need for your business? A startup grant or a growth grant? Let me know in the chat. Startup grant, okay. Now, what the grant is for is number two of what to look for. So once you find the grant that fits where you are in your business, you need to know what the grant is for. So for example, the grants that we win over at blackwomeningrants.com are things like empowerment grants, professional development grants. Um, uh, what am I trying to think of? Beauty, not beauty, um, business development grants. <laughs> So sometimes they'll have a theme. So if you were to think of what you wanted help with in your business, put this in the chat real quick. What is that theme that you want a grant for? So that you'll know what theme of grant to look for. So what is the thing in your business? We know you probably need money for payroll. We know you probably need money for marketing. But what is that one thing that... You could see your business winning a grant for um, because again sometimes grants have themes t-h-e-m-e and it helps when you line up so for example um one of our mentees in the mentorship program has a new skincare line and so she found a beauty brand and won ten thousand dollars so that's what she needed money to get her product developed help with partnerships and all of that is included so what's the one thing you could see your business winning a grant for let me know 
Because once you know what that one thing is, then you look for eligibility requirements. These are like the rules of the grant, the restrictions of the grant, the regulations of the grant. So for example, a rule slash eligibility requirement for a grant may be that you need to be black woman owned, you need to be for a profit, you need to be based in the United States, you need to own at least 51% of your business. These are some rules. So they'll say the people that qualify to apply for our grant, these are our eligibility requirements and these are the rules behind those requirements. Y'all getting it? Put got it if you got it so far. If you got any questions, go ahead and put those as well. Said you need a grant for children's book for public libraries and public schools. Got it. Okay. So once you know the rules of a grant, you need to pay attention to their restrictions as well. Um, if it's a good opportunity, a good grant opportunity, they'll have terms and conditions. They'll have these, you know, those little pay, um, the little links on pages what we say we read, but we don't really read. <laughs> Page with all the legal talk. They'll tell you about those rules, those restrictions based on their eligibility requirements. Um, and so a restriction in a grant may be you can't be nonprofit because we're in the for-profit world. And so they make sure that the people that apply for and win these grants are for-profit. They may say that um, you can't own a franchise or you can't be an MLM or direct sales. Um, they, they also may have excluded some categories or types of businesses if it's what they call a sin based business meaning um you know america is a christian founded based country and so they only want to support the types of businesses that will not make you sin so i can't say most of the types of businesses but we're adults so i think y'all got you guys probably get the drift um and it's okay. Just go find you a grant that does cover it. But this is how most grants work in the for-profit world or the private sector. That's what we call it. And so finally, there are regulations in the grant world as well. And it's all about how the money is distributed. Have y'all ever looked at the regulations of a grant? Y'all want me to tell you or let me know. So just as a recap... We're talking about what to look for in a grant, making sure that you find grants that fit where you are in your business, making sure that if you're a startup business, you're applying for startup grants. If you have a business that already started, you're applying for what's known as growth grants. And then making sure that the grant is for what you need it to be for, whether it's empowerment, professional development, business development, or something really specific to your business. And then finally, eligibility requirements with the rules of the grant, the restrictions of the grant, the regulations of the grant. Now, regulations of a grant means how the money is going to be regulated, meaning how many winners. So you could see a grant for $10,000, but when you read the regulations, the rules, the terms and conditions, it could tell you five people get $2,000 versus one person gets 10. That's a regulation. It could tell you the number of payments. Um, there was a grant I was selected for for round two at the top of the year. It was for $50,000. And they told you that your payments will be split up um, into two payments of 25K. So you're not just sitting expecting one big check for 50K. Um, and so the number of payments is part of regulations. Then the dates or the timeline of the grant that's a regulation so as you're applying for the grant so are other people so grants usually have it laid out where their uh, their um applications open and then when the applications close um when they're going to announce the winners because usually the winners are announced privately and then they'll have a specific date to announce it publicly once they deliberate um, which means that they'll sit and judge all of their grant applications and see, you know, what they thought of each application and who really won. And then they'll make their public announcement via press releases, um, social media, their website, etc. And then the winners are awarded. 
So they'll tell you all of these dates, what date the application opened, what date they closed, what dates they're going to deliberate, what dates um, to expect to hear back from if you won, what dates the actual winners will be announced, what dates to expect your check, etc. Y'all got it? Put got it if you got it. Let me know you got it. If you have any questions, now is a great time to ask those questions. If you need a recap, let me know. I know many of you are just joining us here. We're talking about what to look for in a grant. And so when you know what to look for in a grant, it makes your search easier. When you're going out finding these opportunities or maybe opportunities come to you. And so as long as it matches what you're looking for, it makes it easier to make sure you're applying for the right opportunities. You're not wasting a lot of time um, because when you don't know what to look out for, you end up wasting time applying for the wrong opportunities. You end up getting rejected a lot because you're in the wrong lane. So if you're a new business and you're applying for grants that are for growth businesses, that's a perfect example of like, this is why you may not be winning those grant opportunities. Um, also, if you don't know what to look for, it's easier to get sp um, scammed. And we do have some people in our community over at blackwomeningrants.com who have been scammed and survived because it's worth keeping going. For example, um, one of our most recent grant winners, she just won a $10,000 beauty grant. And she was scammed before she met me. And so now she knows exactly what to look out for. She found the perfect grants for herself. She's, she's won a total of $19,000 in grants and grant funded opportunities. And so now she knows what to look out for. Um, knowing what to look out for keeps you from being frustrated as well. Thinking, oh, this doesn't work. This is a scam. Do I really qualify? Can my business really get it? Um, it also will help clear up whether or not um, you need to hire somebody to do this, which in my community, we don't hire people to do our work. And so um, we know how to do it ourselves. And so because of that, we're very educated on whether or not you know, we're confident in finding these opportunities. So, I'm sharing all this with you because there's only certain people who can tell your story. There's only certain people who understand your business. There's only certain people who have the patience to sit and go through a grant application. And that person, especially in the beginning, is you. Because now you know what to look for what to look out for and what to look forward to. So we'll talk about those last two on a future live, but I wanted to jump on here and chat about what to look for in a grant. Do you guys have any questions? Let me know. Just put it in the chat. And I'm happy to answer those questions. There are several of you on here. So if someone has a question, go ahead and put it in the chat. Now is the best time. I won't be on here long. Um... But just as a recap, we've been talking about what to look for in grants, making sure that you find grants that fit where you are in your business, whether you're in the startup phase or the growth phase, making sure that the grant um, is for what you need it to be for, the theme of the grant matches, and then making sure that you meet those eligibility requirements, those rules, restrictions, and regulations, and you understand it all before you submit that grant application. Because if you don't know what you're looking for, you end up wasting a lot of time and getting rejected, possibly scammed. Um, and so make sure that you're not one of those people. Are there any questions? Let me know. Um, also, let me know if you guys want to dive a little deeper. I'm happy to help. Real quick, tell me the types of businesses that are here. Tell me about your business. What do you do? Put that in the chat really quick. Just put what type of business you have. You don't have to put your website or your email. 
Just tell me what you do really quick. Your in event planning, okay. I saw someone was in medical transportation earlier. What other businesses are here? Hair care and skin care. Got it. Home health care. Okay. Yeah, uh, what other businesses are here? Spices and digital space. Okay, that sounds unique. <laughs> um, you said, can we get a grant for that? So our statement here is not to ask, can you get a grant for your business? It's to make a statement that there is a grant for your business. So let me see y'all put that in the chat real quick. Don't ask if there's a grant for your business because there is. You just got to find it. But there is a grant for my business. That's the statement to make. Because once you find the grant, it fits where you are in your business, startup or growth. You know what the grant is for and it meets what you're looking for the grant to be for. And you know the eligibility requirements. That answers your question right there. We got... um. Home security, okay. Independent provider for DODD. I'm assuming that means like department of something. <laughs> Jewelry, young adults, transitional homes, e-commerce reselling. There you go. Change that to a statement. There is a grant for your business. So over at blackwomenandgrants.com, we have a whole community just for black women, for profit, small business owners, just like this page here on TikTok, where we give you mentorship around grants because grants aren't hard. They just take consistency. And for me, I don't know about y'all, but I work best when I see other people working. And I love how it works in our community when someone wins, someone else get motivated to go finally put in their application because they've been putting it off. And so um, we put together a year-long mentorship where you can get help around finding grants. As a matter of fact, we send you three lists of grants every single month. Um, one is getting ready to come out next week. So excited. And so because of that, we make it easier for not only for grants to come to you, but for you to find the grants that fit everything we just were talking about. So now that you know what to look for in grants, you'll have a list of grants to look through and you'll say, does this meet what I'm looking for a grant for? Let me read the eligibility requirements. And you start to understand the grant application process versus just randomly applying for grants. And so I wrote a book called Finding Funding and it's over at blackwomenandgrants.com. And it has my 25 secrets for finding and securing small business grants and grant funded opportunities as a black woman for profit small business owner. Um, I walk you through what a business grant can cover. So while you may not know what you need a grant for specifically, maybe you're not also not familiar with the things that a grant could cover. Um, no, go ahead and ask your questions if you have them. Thank you. And so there are 27 frequently asked questions on every small business grant application. And so we prepare you to like dominate those questions because you're going to see them on most small business grant applications. We teach you how to answer them. I give you my templates and my answers and mine are award winning grant winning answers. Um, there's also an app that will read our book to you. You can just download it and get help reading. And again, that's over at www.blackwomenandgrants.com. We've done some trainings and some videos um, that are a lot longer than I have time for here on TikTok today, but it's already been recorded. It's already been packaged for you, and it's step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to develop your small business grant winning application strategy. Because with every grant, that's why I tell y'all, you know, the question is not, is there a grant for my business? The question is, if you know what to look for and you have done all three things, you've um, found a grant that fits what you need, making sure it matches what you need, um, it fits where you are, and the eligibility requirements, you're okay with those, you can go in and apply with the right strategy. And so our last grant winner that just won uh, $10,000 about a week ago, 
she went in with a strategy that got her the grant for one portion of her business. She also does other things. So if you're one of those multi-passionate entrepreneurs, that's okay too. You can apply for a grant for different parts of your business. That's why I say double check what you need the grant for and go apply. There's a strategy behind that. You don't have to do it for your whole business. But then in the eligibility requirements, the grant will also tell you if you're able to apply for more than once or more than one business, because we get that question a lot. Can I apply for the same grant for multiple businesses? Um, the strategy that our last grant winner did was, like I mentioned, she applied for half of the business that she does and she won. We did a, a two day boot camp at the top of this year and it broke down applying for small business grants in a way that your application stands out. So not only are you going from, is there a grant for my business? You're going for um, going to the statement, there is a grant for my business, but now you have strategy and your application is standing out. So you're not overwhelmed with, is it competitive? And um, you're not gonna let the numbers scare you. And so in my experience, the last two grants that I've won no, one grant I applied to earlier this year and was selected out of 500. And then a grant I won last year, um, they had 400 applications and I won second place. So we don't let numbers scare us, right? We know what we're looking for, which means we come in with a strategy and we're educated. And so over at blackwomeningrants.com, this is where I share our trainings, our videos that are full of insight, insider secrets like where to look for grants and how to qualify for them and what types of small business grants you should be applying for according to your small business phase. And a small business phase is what we talked about earlier in the live, whether you're in the startup phase or the growth phase. And that's going to determine the types of grants you apply to. Also, what grants should not be used for? Did you know there was a thing? There's a list of things <laughs> that grants should not be used for. But if you do the grant process right, you'll learn how to hit your small business grant goals. That means how much you want to win in grants overall. So real quick in the chat, put how much you could see yourself winning in a small business grant. How much would you like to win in a grant? Talk to me in the chat real quick. I see 50K, okay. Thirty K. Okay. Cool. So as long as you know what your grant goal is, you write it down, you keep it in mind, you go out and apply for that amount times 10. Because in our crew, we win one in 10 grants we apply to. Some people win way more, which is excellent. So to go from not winning grants at all, to knowing that by the time you apply for 10 grants, you leave in here with something. <laughs> we teach you how to apply according to your small business phase, that type, your grant goals, um, and making sure that you're hitting that goal. So I know for myself, I spent about a month applying for um, $500,000 in grants total. And so far I've won $63,550. So when you know what to look for in a small business grant, your chances of finding the right grants, applying, um, making sure that you have the right types of grants that you're applying to and you have the strategy going in, that helps. Um, I don't see your question, but I do see you asking, can I answer your question? So it's not showing up. All right. So let's wrap this up. We're over at blackwomeningrants.com just telling you if you want some mentorship around grants where you can really dive in, get your questions answered deeper. Um, it helps to be educated about the grant application process for for profits, especially because the for profit grant space really blew up during COVID. And so people used to believe that only nonprofit can get grants, but that's not true. And so when you know what to look for in a small business grant, you have less of a chance of getting scammed. You know the major differences between a nonprofit organization, um, which they have to do proposals and all that good stuff. We don't do that. We don't teach about nonprofits. This is for black women, for-profit small business owners. 
And so as a for-profit small business owner, you have the for-profit small business grant application process or the GAP or GAP. So we teach you how to fill in that gap. Y'all got it? Put got it. If you got it, if you got questions, put question and I'll let you know if your question pops up. Um, any questions? Also, if you have questions about joining us in the mentorship, let me know. It's only $97 for a whole year. Regular price is $997. But we have a scholarship fund for those of you who are ready to get started. And you want to come hang out with us for a year for only $97. So again, the website is www.blackwomenengrants.com. Um, also, for those of you who feel like you need help, not pitching, <laughs> but telling your story, that's a big thing. We did a three-part compelling story class that'll help you break down the parts of your business story where you don't tell too much, you tell just enough to where if you had to tell the story of your business on video, your application would stand out. Because you got the components of a winning story. Um, we learned this from a current grant that's out there for $100,000. Good morning, Angela. And they told us what they want to see in our stories. And so we did a three-part class on that. Plus an interview with um, Deanna Joy. She's won $76,000 so far for her black woman-owned small business. And so we picked her brain. Like what she did and <laughs> what she wants you guys to do to start winning like her. She just applied for her first million dollar grant. Um, and so her in interview is in the mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com. I'm so excited about it. Plus the grants that come to you every month. Now, one of the lists of grants that we send you has over $1.2 million in grants that are currently available. And these grants are not just random, meaning someone finds the time every month it's three ladies they find the time every month to create us three free list of grants for women business owners they put it together and we all share the link with our community and so that comes as the 12-month subscription for just one of the lists it's over millions of dollars so imagine having three so it's a lot um but it makes it great because again you don't have to go out and try to find these opportunities Wonder if they're legit, should you apply, etc. Are there any questions? Let me know. Now is the time to ask. If you've asked the question, nothing has popped up so far. Um, so I was trying to give more time for that. Are there any questions about grants or grant funded opportunities? Um, We've started to develop partnerships with people to help you get ready to apply for grants. If you feel like, okay, I need help with my business plan, my marketing plan, my sales plan, my branding, my website, like, you know, just the, <laughs> the list of really getting up and running. Or if you're at a point in your business where it's time for a refresh, um, I was on the site of one of our partners last, um, the other day. And I thought I was just going to make a list of all the classes that you guys can take for free. Child, my hand got tired. I ran out of room. And it was still so much to list. There's so many classes. But they have great assistance um, that we don't teach in the grant game. But you get into their program for free. And so I love that for us. Because even I'm listening to some of the classes and taking notes and can point you in the right direction. So we just form partnerships to help you get prepared <clears throat> for making sure you feel strong about where your business currently is and where it has the potential to go. And so we partner with people to help you do that. So if you need help with your marketing, your sales, your website, your public relations, public speaking, creating partnerships, creating content, email marketing, branding, it's so much, child. So we have a partnership that will let you in a course like that for free. So you don't have to stress trying to get help or trying to look for outside sources. It's built within the mentorship over at www.blackwomenandgrants.com. Let me see. We have a question. I'm at the very beginning of, I know I need to start a business, but no idea what kind of business. Well, when you do know, um, you know, you have to ask yourself, can you see yourself winning a grant? 
can public speaking be a business absolutely this here what i'm doing with you guys is technically public speaking so yes and we win grants frequently <laughs> are there any other questions let me know so i'm here with you guys on mondays wednesdays and fridays right here on tiktok live <clears throat> And um, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is our time. And we're here to answer questions and make sure you get educated on the small business grant application for black women, small business owners. And so because of that, we um, make sure that we provide that space, that safe space for you. Any final questions before we go, before we wrap up, let me know. I'm happy to chat. If you're over at blackwomenandgrants.com claiming one of the spots, I mentioned we have a scholarship today that's open. Um, it is first come, first serve. So they do get got. So I just got to say that. So come join us for only $97 for a full year, one-time payment, year-long access. The information that you just gave, hello, Ashley Rankin, Grant Winter, extraordinaire. <laughs> The information that you just gave about the free help, where can we find the info on that, please? It's in our mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com. It comes with the mentorship around grants. So www.blackwomenandgrants.com. Tell mom we said hello, Ashley. Any other questions? Anyone need a recap? Let me know. We're about to wrap it up. I'm usually on here with you guys. About 45 minutes to an hour, just depending on how much time we really have, you know. Um, but I'm going to get going. I don't know why I waited so late to leave the house. Because this heat. Oh, my gosh. But I got to go run an errand. And hopefully make it back safely. <laughs> so if you have questions, now is the time to put your final questions in. And if you're asking a question, I just can't see it because nothing's popping up. So. Anyone need a recap? Put recap. The heat. Girl, it's the heat. <laughs> I just was outside yesterday and I was just standing there mad. Like, God, do you hate us? Like, what is that? It is just so hot. So, yeah, girl. And I know to get up early before the sunrise. But, uh, and I was up. I just didn't feel like going nowhere. And I know the rules. Especially here in hot Atlanta, Georgia. You do not leave your house after like 12, 1 o'clock. <laughs> so hopefully it ain't that bad out there. Girl, I was just mad. I was mad and sweating. <laughs> Let me um find my page. I turned the page. Let's get us a recap in here. We were talking about what to look for in a small business grant. That's part one of three. Um, we've done a series on this before, but we'll do another that just helps you understand what to look for, what to look out for, and what to look forward to in the grant space. Hold on, girl. I'm flipping, trying to find my notes. Okay. Um, if I had to go off memory, the first thing is <laughs> making sure you find a grant that is a fit for your business where you are in your business if you're in startup phase make sure you're applying for a startup grant if you're in um already like in business make sure you're applying for what's known as a growth grant there we go and then um make sure that you're applying for the grant that is what you need it to be for and so grants have themes like professional development and empowerment and business development. So apply for the grants that is what is necessary in your business. And then finally, making sure that you read, research and review our three R's, the eligibility requirements of a grant, the rules, the restrictions, the regulations about how the money works, really, and what the deadlines are that you can start to expect to hear about who won the money. So that's a quick recap. And when you know what to look for, you end up not wasting a lot of time. You get rejected a lot less or you know how to handle rejections a lot better. Right, Ashley? We've applied for enough grants um, that we like. Okay, on to the next one. 
when you know what to look for in a grant using these three strategies, you also um, have a less of a chance of getting scammed. And then finally, you're less frustrated. You're less doubtful that this can work for you, right? You can apply for a grant without an LLC, but they'll tell you if they need you to have one. And it's only $150. So, I say why not? Go get it. Would you let $150 stand between you and a $10,000 grant? Hmm. As she says, I received several rejections. Then my big grant. Hallelujah. Won't it do it? God is good. Say so yes, separating my business and the grants made the process less confusing. Yes. Any final questions? Oh, I'm sorry. Someone is um, trying to get into the mentorship. Give me one second. I got my... Oh, I'm about to knock over some food that I ain't going to want to clean up. So, hold on. <laughs> Let me make it over to my Bapurda, as my little niece used to call it. And see who is trying to get in. In my state, it said that the LLC is 300 Oh, okay. Well, I'm in Georgia. I was just 150 But again... If you gotta save up three hundred, save up three hundred because that's the. Ooh, I'm just knocking everything up. That's the process of running a legit business. Grant want grants want to know that you're just as invested. They like you don't even want to use your own money to become a legal business. Why you want our check? So they're looking at the fact that um whether or not you've invested in your business. So it's not a sin, y'all. It's okay to go ahead and get your LLC. It's okay if it's $500. If you got to save up, if you got to sacrifice a check, if you got to take your time, then do that. Because again, you're going to let a couple hundred dollars separate you. Like you could potentially win tens of thousands of dollars and you're like, well, they wanted $300 for my, you know, that's how I'm thinking of it. But that's how grants look as well. I know for sure they want to see that you have financially invested in your business. That's why they ask for all that. Because other than that, anybody could come in and say, yeah, I'm a legit business. I mean, I ain't got my paperwork, but trust me, bro. You know, <laughs> like, that's how that is. Tracy Knox, welcome to the Grant Game, girl. Give me a minute. Let me let you into the learning portal. And congratulations on getting your scholarship. Um, Let me find you here what other questions y'all got okay she said yes that makes complete sense <laughs> thank you girl you have your EIN yeah that's free you should definitely have that make sure that you keep up with that paperwork and um because they, they will ask for that um some grants and so that's important she said oh well I went to Taylor Brands and was $400 for my LLC and EIN EINs are free you can go do that I don't know what an agent is, but, um, yeah, <laughs> we'll leave that there. Lexi, are you Tracy? <laughs> Let me know. Um, you are? Okay, cool. Thank you for letting me know, girl. I thought I was talking to two different people. Okay, so I am emailing you now with your access granted email there you go welcome so excited to have you it's a lot of information that is so step by step and easy to walk through um, when you open the email I just sent you let me know you got the email I just sent you but when you open it up there's a welcome packet just for you and it breaks down where to find all of our classes and the book to download and the app that'll read the book to you um, the interviews and the partnerships all of that is in your welcome package so it's all in one place it's easy to find so congratulations on joining us it's so exciting <sighs> any final questions before we go oh Ashley you sent me an email girl I was on here teaching hold on video you created Oh, okay. I'll watch that in a minute. Yes, there is. It's three list of grants, actually. It's three list of grants in the mentorship.
Actually, this is so professional. Go, girl. I'm proud of you, honey. So happy to know you. <laughs> Grant winner. <laughs> Anyone else got any questions about joining us in the Grant Game Mentorship over at blackwomenandgrants.com? Any questions? Oh, <laughs> I love it. Um, any questions about anything we've talked about today as it relates to finding the right fit type of grant for your business, etc., etc. Okay. Well, that's all I got for you guys. I am going to go. You guys have a phenomenal rest of your day, and I will see you soon. God bless. Bye, future grant winners.